This is Ralph Irvin on Spalding Field, where the UCLA football team has wrapped up their preparations for Thursday night's matchup at top-ranked Oregon. We begin our preview with the offense. Here's UCLA quarterback Kevin Prince and tackle Mike Harris. Oregon's a, a really athletic team. Uh, you know, they seem to get you know a lot of guys who can just run run really well and, and make plays and uh, just fly around. They're similar in that sense to Texas, I think. Um, you know, Texas just had a, a bunch of athletes and. Um, you know, they, they, their scheme also is just great. You know, that I think that def defensive coordinator has been up there for a while. And so they, they just have a good scheme and, and good personnel to fill it. We just got to be physical for the most part. They're, they're a good defensive line, fast guys. Um, we're just going to try to move them back. That's all we can do and just create holes for Jet and Coleman. And I feel like if we can get that done, then there's no stopping us. I feel like we play good. We have a great chance of winning. And um, last week we we didn't play good as a line, so I feel like that's why we you know we didn't win. Unfortunately, you know the same thing kind of happened against Stanford where we didn't do anything. We you know we got shut out, and uh, you know the next week we came back against Houston and played really well. And uh, the week after that came out and played Texas and, and ran the ball really well. And uh, you know I think we just got to take that same mentality, you know, uh, that we've been there before, that we can bounce back. And um, you know more than that, we got to be able to be more balanced. Uh, we got to come out and be able to to throw the ball when we need to, and uh, you know get the running game back to where it was. We're really closing it. I feel like this year we have a bunch of smart guys on there, a bunch of um, seniors and experienced guys. Years previous, you know, I started as a freshman. I really didn't know what to do. But um, it just comes with time, I feel like. And, like, this is one of those years that, you know, like, the team success is going to lie on us, I feel like. And um, in order to beat Oregon, we're going to have to do our job and do it to the best of our knowledge. And, I missed my fair share of time this year, you know, from training camp to just random practices throughout the season so far. And uh, just, you know, staying after getting some extra work in with the guys, um, you know, just trying to get some some one on one work with the receivers and tight ends and running backs uh, just to really build our confidence together and uh, get get our confidence back in the, in the throwing game so that when it comes game time, we can execute. On defense, the Bruins must stop a prolific Oregon attack. We get the inside scoop from UCLA linebacker Akeem Ayers and defensive tackle Nate Chandler. They do a good job of you know, misdirection. Uh, it comes down to us uh, doing playing our responsibilities and uh, playing di disciplined football because they, uh, they, they make big plays off us being undisciplined and not being in our gaps. So that's kind of how it works. Gaps, gap integrity. Uh, we got to stay in our gaps because Oregon's the type of team that likes to uh, play off the other team's flaws. And if uh, we're getting out of our gaps, they're gonna they're gonna hit it, and that's where they get their big plays from. They got a real good back, number 21, and uh, when he's in space, he can get loose and um, he spins off runs and stuff like that. And as a D line, we just got to be keep our gaps and don't get reach and stay and keep contained. That's something that we improved on over the summer. We had you see a lot more team speed on defense and guys able to move and run all across the board from the D line to linebacks to secondary. We're all able to run and you know quick guys all around the field. In every game, you gotta you gotta do what you gotta do. You play as a team. It's not as an individual. And uh, when we fit our gaps, the linebackers make plays. When we fit our gaps, we make plays. Secondary makes plays. You know, what I mean? it, it, it works as a team. It's more of us just playing your responsibility, isn't it? Because you, when you caught with your eyes in the backfield, that's when they're going to get us for big plays. So it's more of you just fitting your gap, and then the linebacker next to you fitting their gap. And then if we do, if we do that, it plays out all well. Once again, UCLA travels to Eugene, Oregon to take on the Oregon Ducks. That game Thursday night at 6 o'clock. Of course, the latest news and notes on UCLA football, as well as the best post-game coverage, get it all right here. Bruin TV at UCLABruins.com.